Welcome back, you guys. It's your girl, Spiritual Sage. So, I'm sitting here. Y'all know I be talking to my spirit, guys, like I'm talking to y'all. I said, Spirit, we catching flights. We're not catching feelings. We're catching flights, Spirit. And so, as I was shuffling, that child card fell out. Y'all know that child card that's in this Kipper deck. It has the 18 on it. That child is someone who's um, spiritually gifted. It's a star seed, an earth angel. Okay. So, this who this reading is about, y'all. Okay, y'all might want to go get my Palo Santo, go get my sage, go, my, go get my bath salts. You know. Let's open it up like we always do. Let me tell y'all. I love y'all to pieces, man. For real, for real. Every time somebody come in and tell me that, oh, this is my story, I'm just like more and more at peace. It, it does. It validates my gift. And I'm so grateful. Okay? All right. There go them tens. Spirit say shit about the end. Y'all end in a cycle? Okay, we got to fix this lighting because, baby, we can't do nothing with that bright shit. Spirit say, y'all about to end the cycle, whatever cycle it is, and y'all finna get mind, body, and spirit in alignment. And you guys know that when you are obedient, there's reward in that. So, like I said, I told Spirit, we catching flights, not feelings. So, let's see what's, what we got going on. Divine Holy Spirit, ancestors of the highest white light, allow me to channel the energies surrounding my collective. Okay, um, I'm asking that Archangel Michael please come in and protect me as I channel these energies. Please and thank you. All right, boo. Let's see. Spirit, what you got? What you want them to know? Wealth flows to me in unexpected ways daily. I swear this just came out my last reading. It's the truth. I just said, when you've been obedient, there's the abundance. Wealth flows to you in unexpected ways daily. <clears throat> y'all be like, somebody might offer to uh, fill y'all gas tank up. Um, all kind of stuff. People offering to... Like, like I do when I go to uh, Starbucks, I pay for the person behind me, just start a little chain reaction. I'm telling you, it's going to be little stuff like that. That ain't no coincidence. That's spirit, and they're doing it for you, okay? All right, now let's get a message from, from your high self. Remember, we're catching flights, not feelings. We hopping about these feelings for a while, hopping on these flights. We're about to live our best life, okay? That's what I mean when I say we're catching flights, not feelings. Because we're about to live our best life. Divine Holy Spirit, what do you want my collectives? High, what do their higher self want them to know? Message for their higher self, please and thank you. Message. Ooh, child. Trust. Listen, and no, my deck is not all purple. But anytime that child card pops out, so does this intuition. Because I already said that child is spiritually gifted. And just because it is a child on there does not mean it's really talking about someone of, um, like, a child age. Spirit looks at all of us as their children. And, yes, you're highly intuitive. And Spirit is telling you to accept that your inner voice will always guide you correctly. And you need to trust it. Because your intuition is always right. Oh, let me tell y'all. I hope she don't mind me telling y'all. Y'all know Vicky, right? Our subscriber who had the manifest manifestation candles and the uh, manifesto pens. Baby, she done came up with a purple candle that helps you get um more in like more in tune with your intuition. Baby, I can't wait for that candle to come out. It ain't came out yet, but you best know. And I'm gonna do a video to show you guys how to use that manifestation candle that she came out with. Okay, so this time, I think I want to use the Wisdom of the Oracle. Spirit, let's get three cards on the energy surrounding my collective. They talking about they catching flights, not feelings, what's going on. Spirit say, truth be told, the shit was fated to happen. Living your best life was fated to happen. Y'all done been through some stuff. 
And now that you guys are being obedient, of course. Because wealth flows to you in unexpected ways daily. Yeah, you finna listen. And I cut the deck again. It says co create. This is like my mani manifesto card. And faith, again. It's faith to happen. You finna co create with the universe and manifest your best life and start catching these damn flights. All right, let's see, spirit. Let's get three cards on it. Please and thank you. Woo. Let's get one more. You got exchanging gifts. I already said y'all had uh, spiritual gifts. Exchanging gifts come to the edge. And then when that 10 came out there, I said, look, we about to end. We are ending some completions of some cycles. And we about to hop out our feelings and hop on the plane and live our best life. I said that. Ain't no place like home and all that glitters. What shit. Spirit, what's going on? Give me one more card on it. Exchanging gifts come to the edge. One more spirit. One more, please and thank you. One more, one more. Not for you. And to be fair. Spirit say the shit you've been going through ain't for you. And to be fair, you finna hop out your feelings and hop on the plane. I ain't even clarifying nothing yet, but that's what Spirit said. Spirit says, wealth is flowing to you unexpected. That's the exchanging gifts part. Spirit is exchanging gifts with you. You're about to be abundant. I shouldn't came to the edge. Something in your life has caused you to come to the edge because the shit was not for you. Spirit don't want you going through this. And so, for some justice, to be fair, your ass about to hop on the plane. Watch. And, you know, hopping on the plane can be symbolic to anything. For you guys whatever is living your best life okay thank you spirit let's clarify these energies please and thank you let's clarify this exchange in gifts that was too much come to the edge not for you and to be fair spirit has seen you suffer your spirit guides have been right there the whole time watching you go through this painful growth period okay and they want to be fair now with you what's that yeah because they seen how strong you had to be some of y'all didn't know how strong you had to be until you had to be and spirit was right there the whole time and they want to reward you for it <clears throat> let's see spirit what you got please and thank you what you got for them Ooh. Some of y'all is transforming off in this thing. Yes, baby. She ain't got time for this. Y'all done been through too motherfucking much. Y'all is transforming. Ending some shit, ending some cycles and transforming to your new best self. Living out your highest self. Some of y'all living out your purpose. With these intuitive ass spiritual gifts that you have. Wow. Okay, let's see what else popped out here. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. There go them eights. Y'all know eights is all about abundance. You have the Eight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, that eight eight. All about abundance. What we got right there? The Queen of Wands. This is that sexy ass manifester. You do not have to be a fire sign to get off in this energy. Let me explain this energy to y'all. This is someone who has been groomed by Oshun. This is someone who's very passionate, very sexy. She's undeniable, period. She does not um, question her words. She does not second guess herself. She know what's up. And she's very passionate about whatever she touch. If it's a person, a project, whatever, she passionate as hell. And people love it. Because like I said, she undeniable. He or she, you could be a man too. What? Spirit, stop it now. You're showing up. Spirit is showing out tonight. I said, we catching flights. We're not catching feelings. We attracting shit. Wealth and abundance is flowing to you unexpected ways daily. Spirit is saying this. Then these eights is all about abundance. Spirit wants you to trust that everything that you went through, because in order to get here, there are four queens in the deck. 
the empress is every last one of these queens. The only reason she got here because she been through every damn thing. And spirit saw that. They saw you being strong, persevering through these situations when days would come. You didn't even know how you was going to do it. That was right there with you, pushing you. Transformation. It's like some of y'all just woke up one day and was didn't even recognize who you was. And those around you didn't recognize who you were. And that's because you had been doing the work the whole time. When you was pushing through, just thinking that you was making it through the next day, you were doing the shadow work. You was doing the inner work. You feel me? You was getting your mind, body, and soul in alignment. You was doing all the work. Spirit wants to be fair to you because of that. Okay, Spirit. Thank you, boo. So you might have some communication coming in. This could have something to do with your work. You could be getting abundant at your work. Uh, these intuitive gifts may have something to do with this work. Let's see, boo. Hey, you might be taking a vacation from work. Yeah, I'm saying something going on. Spirit, what you got? What you got for us? Yep. The world. In that bullshit. Get in that chair. That chair is that airplane. Catching flights, boo. And if you're scared to catch a flight like I am, it's okay. We'll run a car. We sure will. Because your girl spiritual said ain't finna fly no damn well. But baby, listen. Y'all ended this cycle. I already said you transformed off in this thing. Being strong. Because you ain't had no other choice but to be. Because this person right here is, look, this empress and this queen of wands is some undefeated ass energy. They done been through all kind of shit, but they handle it very passionately, okay? Y'all ended that cycle. We said that at the beginning. Spirit is letting you know, now you get to move forward towards your new self, your new life. And you're going to be victorious in that. Brand new starts it's towards your stability. Feel something new is gonna come in for you towards your towards your stability now with this page of pentacles. Cause y'all done been wounded. Like I said, y'all been hurt, y'all been wounded, and spirit was right there the whole time. You was never alone. Some of y'all uh spirit guides are some of y'all ancestors, y'all spirit guides, they cheering you on right now. They clapping for you. They proud of you that you did this transformation. You made it through. You know how some cultures they have to have this um Oh, my God. What you call it? Write a passage or whatever. It's like you guys made it. And your spirit guides are cheering you on. And they're ready to reward you for this. So, let's see. And it's going to be different for all of y'all. This, this thing that you had to persevere through will be different. It will be relationships for some. It will be parenting for some. Um, it would be drug addiction for some. Y'all speaking to someone who overcame drug addiction. I am not ashamed to let y'all know. Go back to one of my earlier videos. It will tell you I was addicted to Percocets. I overcame that and I thank the Most High God every day. You hear me? Every single day. So this that you had to overcome will be different for everybody. But all your spirit guys are proud of you. You may not have nobody here on the physical realm clapping for you. But baby... The audience, the stadium is full of your spirit guides, your ancestors. What's that? Some of y'all, like I said, it was relationships. Some of y'all had to walk away from the shit to find you some self. You had to walk away. You had come to the edge. Let's see what else out here. Realizing you was wish fulfillment the whole time. Cause like I said, you the Empress and the Queen of Wands, baby. Yeah, and Spirit said that's the fucking truth. That was the truth. People didn't want you to know your light. Whoever it was you was dealing with, mm-mm. Yeah, this person didn't want you to know your own light. Your own truth. Your own power. Look at the cards y'all have right here. These are very, very powerful, y'all. Very powerful. Queen of Wands, Empress, Strength, and Death. That's transformation all day long.
but there was someone you were dealing with that didn't want you to know your 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 power, your creativity, your truth, your light, your spiritual gifts. Because let me tell you, the enemy can see things in you before you can sometimes. They can. They can see it in you the whole time. They don't want you to see it. And so you had to walk away from that low vibrating negative ass energy. You had to move away from that. This person was keeping you stuck. There was a bunch of chaos and conflict. You were questioning yourself, doubting your self-worth. Spirit said you had to walk away from that. And you did. This I'm talking to people who walked away from that situation. And that when y'all walked away from this, that's when you gained some self. That's when you realized that you was wish fulfillment the whole time. And Spirit said that's the truth. This is the truth that this person or these people did not want you to know about. But y'all was trusted because spirit was whispering it in your ear the whole time that you were special. And that's what made you kept pushing. You kept pushing every day. You got up. Not once did you say, I, I give up. God, I give up. No. You kept pushing through this. And baby, this motherfucker right here don't do much. She sit back and think about the things she want. And they come to her. Like I said, somebody might want to fill up your gas tank. They might want to pay for your food. They might want to pay a bill or two. Do not second guess nothing. Don't turn nothing down because them ain't nothing but blessings from the Most High God. Because wealth flows to you in unexpected ways daily. It ain't for you to question. Accept the blessing and keep it moving. Because some of them blessings going to come in fast. Out of nowhere. Like I said, some of y'all got up one morning and didn't even know who you was. The people around you were like, who the hell is this? The collective acting all funny. The collective taking a, a little bit longer to get ready. You know what I'm saying? They caring about what, how they look now. What, what's wrong with the collective? See, these gifts about to come in fast. Spirit said that's your justice to be fair to my baby that's been out there working hard, persevering through this shit. I want you to know you were never alone and you finna be rewarded for it. And all these other motherfuckers get to watch you. They get to watch you in your glory. Mm, mm, mm. Come on, spirit. Yeah, <laughs> I can't listen. I just said it. Well, I ain't said shit. I said, spirit is going to make these people watch you in your glory. Now look at them. Damn, why did I treat the collective like that? Why didn't I? Some of these is y'all parents. Why didn't I nurture the collective? Why did I make the collective feel as if they was weird or wrong or bad? Come on, bro. They're going to be sad, sick, depressed. I'm talking about for real. Mm -hmm. What else you got for him, Spirit? Please and thank you. Spirit also had to, um, they wanted to, some of y'all, they wanted to give y'all some gifts. But they couldn't. You had the wrong people around you. You had the wrong people around you. So Spirit was just like waiting for you to move away from these people so they can hand you these spiritual gifts. Some of y'all gifts won't even come online until you do this right here. When you do this, then that intuition will just, like I said, you're going to wake up one day and you're going to be like, who the hell am I? Because when you hit this point, that transformation, this ain't no death, death. This is transformation. The old you dead and gone, boo. Them gifts going to start coming up. You're going to start getting downloads from spirit. It's going to be real. It's going to be raw, boo. <clears throat> King of Pentacles. This is someone who's financially stable, solid. This is you. I don't give a damn what sign you are. You're headed towards stability. I already said it. I said a brand new beginning towards your stability. So you go from the page of pentacles to the fucking king of pentacles. Spirit is not playing with y'all. Because y'all been doing the damn work. Every day that you got up and pushed forward. Spirit was giving you another pat on the back. Like, man, I can't wait to bless this person. As soon as they walk away from this low vibrating ass energies yeah these low vibrating energies these people that was keeping you confused people that was trying to manipulate you get over on you with that five spirit said now nah, this shit got to change what else spirit oh my ears on fire y'all Thank you, Spirit. Man, y'all finna have options out the wazoo. I don't even know what the hell that means, but it sound good. 
Y'all ain't gonna know what to damn do. Listen, I just heard, take your time, boo. These is yours. You ain't got to worry about nobody. Because can't nobody else, ain't nobody else vibration high enough to reach these clouds. These options is spiritual gifts sitting on top of these clouds. So guess what, boo? These low vibrating energies, they can't even touch it. They don't vibrate high enough. So spirit say, take your time. You can deal with this one today, deal with that one tomorrow. They all yours, boo. They ain't going nowhere. You have done the work. This is your reward. Whew. Come on, spirit. <clears throat> what else? What else? What else? I just heard for some of y'all, that was the hardest shit y'all had to walk away from. It was the hardest thing y'all had to do to choose yourself. It was so hard. Because, man, like I said, maybe this person manipulated you, made you feel so guilty for choosing yourself. But Spirit was telling you, was trusting your intuition because you knew some shit wasn't right. You was trusting your intuition and you did the right thing. Of course, after some evaluation, you had to evaluate what you was putting into whatever the situation was and for everybody would be different. But y'all was looking at what y'all was putting in and what you was getting out of it. You say, hell no. I want to do what's right with this hyphen. I want to do what's right for myself. So you went in. You went within to, to get the light, shine that light on that heart chakra. To feel. Because your intuition is a feeling. That gut feeling that you get off in your stomach. Some of y'all make y'all want to fart. Some of them make y'all have to go to the bathroom. But still, it's the damn gut feeling. You feel me? Everybody got their own little other signs that they spirit guides give them to let them know when some shit ain't right. And so y'all was getting them signs. And so y'all took this time to go within. Walk away from this situation, person, people, places, thing, whatever this was. Y'all took that time to go within, walk away from that shit, and find the truth. But I swear, for some of y'all, it was the hardest decision y'all had to make to, to, to choose yourself. Because for some of you people, we're, we're talking about people who love unconditionally. We're talking about people who love from a pure space. We're talking about people who have empathy. They have the ability to see both sides of the situation. They see the good in all things. So it was hard for you to choose yourself. But you did and you're being rewarded because you were being obedient, bro. Like I said, you're catching flights, not feelings. <sighs> My right ear. Mm. Okay, spirit. <clears throat> Thank you, spirit. listening to your intuition with this moon card but i feel there's some things that there's some things that you don't know that, that you have there's some abilities like i said some of these abilities could not even come online until you walked away from these people so if some of you guys thought you were intuitive there's much more where's that card spirit says there's much more there's things you don't know yet but spirit said take your time keep you know keep your mind body and soul in alignment Keep vibrating high because these gifts is on these clouds. You can't be low vibrating and get these gifts. You feel me? Spirit say, take your time. Yeah, there's gifts you don't know you have. Some of y'all psychic mediums. Some of y'all can talk to the other side. I'm telling you, for real, for real. I used to be too much purple out here. Some of y'all star seeds. I, like I said, y'all, that, that 18, that child popped out again at the beginning when I was shuffling. And it popped out for a reason. Because I'm dealing with someone who's chosen. You were chosen. You were placed here for a reason. All of these are your spiritual gifts. Spirit said, take your time. Don't rush. Take your time, baby. <clears throat> what else you got, Spirit? I don't know who this reading is for. But, baby. If it resonated, resonate. You got anything else? You guys are gonna be <laughs> gonna be needing to balance your life out. Yes, because when these spiritual gifts come online, you're gonna have to balance the 3D, the physical realm, with the 5D, the spiritual realm. You guys are gonna have to balance that because you're gonna be collaborating with spirit. Yes, ma'am, yes, sir. You're gonna be collaborating with spirit. Like I do, I sit right here in the living room and talk to them. My kids look around, they don't see nobody. That don't mean I'm not doing the Lord's work. You feel me? 
Y'all are going to have to balance your physical reality with your spiritual reality because you will be not collaborating with physical beings. You're going to be collaborating with spiritual beings. Ooh. Damn. That's deep. Some of y'all really might be a damn star. I done told y'all the shit keep popping out there. But I'm viewing this as healing. You guys have done so much healing. Yeah, some of y'all ain't through. I feel like healing is never completely done. It just get easier by the day. You feel me? But it ain't never done. This is an ongoing process. The temperance angel. Balance. You're going to need to balance yourself, bro. Because I'm telling these gifts when they start pouring in. <laughs> like right now, I have never felt... My ears, they get on fire a lot, but my right ear is burning so bad, I feel like I might have an ear infection. That's how bad it's burning. It used to just burn on the earlobe, but it's burning through the inside. Like, like you know how somebody whispers uh, spirit? I mean, I said spirit. I know spirit is doing it, but when you know somebody whispers in your ear and it tickles, this is burning. Like, it feels like someone's whispering in my ear, but it's burning through my ear canal, okay? So, yes, that's how strong this energy is going to be. Because you guys are manifesting a new stability. You guys are manifesting spiritual gifts on the physical reality. You're doing something that folks around you ain't seen done before. They're going to be in disbelief. They're going to look at you like the star. Like, damn, this motherfucker got... They're going to look at you like you a damn superhero or something. Because of the things you're going to be manifesting. They're like, how? Baby, don't worry about it. Because you're going to show them. Telling y'all this is going to bring you guys ultimate happiness. Because here you are turning your back against the low vibrating energies. Looking out into the future to your ultimate happiness. This is ultimate happiness. And for some of y'all, I just got to be honest. <laughs> That's when that past life soulmate will come in. But I'm I'm be honest. What I'm getting with this is a test from spirit. Are you really ready? Because I feel like for some of y'all, when this person come back, they're not going to be on your level. Like I said, remember, you in the clouds. Something that you had to walk away from was too, too low vibrating for your, for your uh, vibration. It was too low. And so for some of y'all, when this person come back, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be another test. That's what life is all about. Spirit is definitely going to test you. Do you really want this? Are you ready? Because I'm telling y'all, when these gifts come online... Some of y'all ain't gonna never need to clock in no wells. I'm telling you now. <laughs> Spirit, let's get some a message. What you want these folks to focus on? Why this energy playing through? Look, y'all started out with the death to ultimate happiness. <gasps> okay, and all of this happened because you decided to be strong. You decided to push forward, persevere. You feel me? When everybody else was making you feel like you crazy, you know what I'm saying? What you think you saw, you didn't see. You decided to keep moving forward. And spirit was behind you every single day. You were passionate about it. You were passionate about whatever it was you thought you were seeing. You believed that you was passionate about it. You were trusting. You were trusting your intuition. And spirit is happy because of that. And they're rewarding you for it. Okay, so Divine Holy Spirit, what things do they need to let go? What thing does the collective need to let go while they're working through this energy? Please and thank you. What they need to let go of while they're working through this energy? <clears throat> Blame. Accept responsibility for your well-being. Mm -mm, this ain't y'all energy. For a few of y'all, it might be. I feel like this is that low vibrating energy. That past life soulmate. Because like I said, when you start to manifest, this person's going to be in that energy. Because uh, see, prior, they used to could make you feel insecure. They used to could guilt trip you into doing things. And so when they see you manifesting, they're going to blame you for their life being fucked up. Because where is it? When you take the light... You are the star, baby. When you take the light out of their life, baby, it's dark and dingy. This person feels heavy. Look at that black coat they got on in the damn summertime. This person will feel heavy, and they're going to blame you. Oh, yeah, baby. 
And I said, because I already said, when they come back, it's a test. This person's not ready. They still blaming you. And so that some, of that, some of them are going to come back and see if they can knock you off your shine. Not your grind, because the empress don't have to grind. She sits there and uses her mind. She manifests. She ain't got to get out there and hustle and bustle. She ain't got to grind. She uses her M-I-N-D to manifest the life that she wants. And this person's going to come back because they mad as hell, blaming you for their life being messed up, blaming you. They mad at you because now you know your own life. They're going to come back and test you. I said that. Okay. So, Spirit said, you got to let this shit go. You got to let this person go. You got to use your intuition when they come. And trust it, because your intuition is always right. Because they coming. This past life person is coming. Right when you get off in that good energy, they're going to sweep their ass off in there. Okay, Spirit. Well, envy. I said it. And success. I cannot make this stuff up, y'all. Y'all know I get excited. Of course. I just said these people going to be blaming you. They're going to be mad at you because you got these spiritual gifts. You're going to manifest things that these people have never seen on the 3D level. Some of y'all ain't going to never have to go and physically work nowhere else ever again. Success. Envy. You better know it. What's this? Self-esteem. Some of you guys, baby. I mean, read it out. It says, I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Some of you guys are so, going to be so freaking confident in this energy. You have gifts that benefit you and others. Right? I said that. Exchanging gifts. I said these spiritual gifts are going to come. And you guys are going to be serving the entire universe. Oh, my God, bro. You better know you're going to be successful as hell. And where there's success... There's always some low vibrating energies. Envy. Whew. That's what I get for y'all. I don't know, boo. Trust your intuition. It'll never steer you the wrong way. I feel like you guys are in a good energy. Okay? Um, I feel like that <clears throat> some people are going to be asking why. Why her or why him? I work hard, I bust my ass. You're not going to have to do that. Like I said, you don't have to grind because you use your mind. These people have a lack mentality. You've transformed. You don't think like that. You have a wealth mentality. And like I said, baby, you're going to be collaborating with spirit. Come on now. Baby. All right, y'all. It's your girl, Spiritual Sag. I love you guys to death. Shit, if you don't go buy nothing, at least go check out the website. Go to my Etsy page and, and see what's good over there. Just check it out. And, you know, favor the shop. Let me know you've been over there. You feel me? Um, also, if y'all want one of those manifest manifestation candles, y'all hit up Vicki Thompson. Her email will be in the description also. Okay? I love you guys. And for whoever this is for, I am so proud of you, bro. Or sis, whoever it is I'm talking to. You chosen. I'm proud of you. And like I said, you may not have anybody here on a physical 3D level clapping for you, praising you, because you, they're too busy being uh, jealous. But like I said, the auditorium is full of your spiritual guides, your ancestors, your angels. They couldn't wait to give you these gifts. As soon as you removed yourself from that energy, they about these. I'm telling you, these gifts about to come in out of nowhere. Be ready. Because you're going to have to balance. You're going to have to balance this physical life with the um, spiritual realm. But only you can do it. You're a magician. You can do it, baby. All right, you guys. And until next time, I love y'all to pieces. Bye.